What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Caldheim traditional best of three draft. Tiger Nate just got his three month, three year sub, thirty six months, which is pretty nuts. Get on that level. What do we got here? We got a Demon Bolt and a Frostbite. We got a Vega, which is extremely build aroundable. I kind of like the Vega here. Like, if we take Demon Bolt, someone else is taking Frostbite, and now we're just pushing them into those colors. Valkyrie is the next closest blue or white card that's any good. I'm taking Vega here. Ooh, I like a Boreal Outrider a lot. Gain two life for each foretold card in exile. Add two mana. Spend it to only cast... Only to foretell cards or cast spells. Return for... So this draws as a card at the very least. Gains a bunch of life. Eh, it's alright. I mean, I feel like if we're foretelling dot deck, it's... I mean, what else are we going to take? Like, Boreal Outrider pick two is pretty nice. I don't really want to be snow, though. I think we're just taking the Nico Defies Destiny. I don't think this is a great saga, but I think the value is definitely there if we are... Uh... Okay, and then you get a pack like this where you're like, well, that's that, I guess. Wow, that's really weird. Uh, I don't think Maskwood Nex Nexus is very good. Um, I think three mana to make a 2-2 two -two just doesn't really... It's, it's kind of slow. <sighs> Assuming that we're not just these colors. I'll take the snow-covered swamp, I guess. I don't know, man. Wow, these packs are really rough for the first two picks that we took. Oh boy. Um, okay. All right. Let's take struggle for skim far. At least that is a very reasonable, uh, very reasonable fighty fighty boy. And we can foretell it. Take that one card. It's actually a pretty good idea. I'll probably do that. Bird Spirit. It's not very good. Okay. Well, God's Hand, God's Hall Guardian is pretty decent here. Okay, that's interesting. Now we're getting a millionth pick Mistwalker and a Stalwart Valkyrie. I mean, I'm going to take the Mistwalker because I think it's a little better. It's also better with the Yara Kinseekers.
I guess it's just Raven Wings. I don't care about Revitalize. We're not trying to be uh, playing Snow. Depart the Realm came back. I mean, that was one of the maybe two cards in that pack that I was really considering. Sadly, I'm starting to feel as old as you look. All right. Well, that's sad. Uh, Frosty Kitty. Probably fine. Interesting. Oh, what up, Tavo? I'll take the I'll take the stupid raptor. Okay, we're really looking for some help here. Not about to put the struggle in the sideboard just yet. I think it I mean if we get any sort of uh any sort of lands that allow us to play at their it's pretty pretty okay. Uh, again, this hand pack's pretty bad. <laughs> Starnheim Courser's probably the best option for us, just the two two for three. I mean, Glacial Floodplain is fine. Ugh. Not great. Oh wow, Doomscar. I mean, I think we just have to take Doomscar here. Not only is it a Fortel card, but it also, uh, like, we could actually play it. Vega would die, but then we cast it, so it still draws us a card. I do like Thank Valkyrie you. Sword a lot. I think it's pretty sweet. Um... Zimini Pot, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 25 months. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, take Valkyrie Sword. Oh, uh, I actually like Rune of Flight a lot. I also like Rhymewood Falls because it does let us cast this struggle a little easier. I think we gotta go with Rune of Flight. Right now we have Raven Wings and Valkyrie Sword. I think if Master Scald or the Rhymewood Falls comes back, I think it's pretty sweet. MTG Pack Rat. No problem, buddy. No problem. Sorry I'm so old looking. Wow, we always end up with two Vegas when we're playing the Vega deck. That's pretty sick. I mean, not to say we have a Vega deck here. We literally have like uh, one, two, three Fortel cards. Still taking the 2-2 two, two flyer for two. Or 2-2 two, two flyer for three, rather. Do, 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 do.
I fell into a burning ring of fire. Um, okay, so nothing here is exciting. I think we're just taking Invoke for the sideboard. More like Tree Tell. <laughs> Three Tell. I don't know why I said tree there. God. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Three seasons is pretty poop. I think Raven Form is actually just fine. Snow Covered Forest, also probably fine. I'll take the forest. Um, Story Seeker. Oh, Iron Verdict is removal and it's Foretell. Yeah, we'll take the Iron Verdict. Vega is a Street Fighter character, yeah. I believe he is from Spain. None of these are exciting. I'll just take the Draugr Thought. Josh, I totally paused for you, buddy. I think it's Iron Verdict again. None of these cards are exciting. I'll just take the Onslaught. Dan Habiki. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. I'm going to take the raise the Draugr. None of these are exciting. So that would have been our third wings. Now it's only our second. Man, I like Turgrid a lot. That's a good card. I think it's actually Master Scald here. I could see Inga or Stalwart Valkyrie coming back. Right now we have like we have Raven Wings, we have Rune of Flight, Valkyrie Sword, and uh, Nico defies destiny to take advantage of the Master Skull. Yeah, I don't think we can justify double black card. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just Master Skull. I think Master Skull is pretty fine. Oh, I like Sod coming here. It's probably the best card in the pack. Dragon King Berserker also pretty sweet, but. I'm just going to take the counterspell and call it a day. Oh, another Nico defies destiny. Hmm. You know what? Sure. We're on the plan. Oh, Avalanche Caller. That's interesting. Wow. Considering I have literally no on-color... Um, <laughs> Snowlands. I'm probably not taking Avalanche Caller. I am going to take Augury Raven, though. Wow, we could have had Torgolf and Turgrid. Wow, that's insane. That's wild. We're passing someone some sweetness here. Uh, Rune of Sustenance is fantastic. Now we have Dub's Runes. And we have Rune Eyes. Yeah, I like Inga Runeyes a lot. She's pretty sweet. I'm going to put that and that on the sideboard. I don't foresee us playing those. Um, I also don't see us for playing playing Pilfering Hawk, but... Sometimes you got to put a Pilfering Hawk in your sideboard. I don't really want Battlefield Raptor. I'm hoping we pick up two two reasonable playables here. Also, Frosty Kitty, not the best without any snow covered lands that are on color. Wow, Nico defies destiny number three. 
sure. You know what? Maybe I gain a million life. We have a, a decent number of foretell cards at this point, so it's not impossible. Um, God, how many three drops do we have, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a lot. I think we have Scorned Effigy, actually. It's a foretell card. Yeah, we got a lot of birds. Two Vegas. It's a late Narfi. Like, I'm really surprised Narfi is still here. Just gonna take the Narfi. Skull Raid. Sure. Take the Wahorn Blast, I guess. None of these are exciting. Okie dokie. This is 41 with literal zero snowlands. Don't care about Raptor. I might just want to invoke the Divine in the main. Take out the Yeti. So this is, this is a two. Uh, this is a two. This is a two. These are things we can do on turn two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we'll just play the Invoke. Yeah, this is something all right. Uh, I don't think Kai's Onslaught's great in our deck. Like, our biggest creature's like a 2-2, two -two, so it's, like, not ideal. I don't know how I missed the planes here. Alright. Seems mediocre. Yeah, this deck, I don't feel like it came together, but I feel like we did pick up a decent number of Fortale cards. Uh, I, could, I could definitely see it being a Luris deck, yes. I see your every move, baby. Yep, that's not going to do it. Sure. Have you considered using different cool art lands since these make it harder to count and separate? Uh, no. I have not considered that. May play that next time. Probably not. We got a Starnheim Courser over here, guys. Starnheim Courser coming through. Oh, yeah. What is that? I didn't mean to click that. Oh, so next time we can actually foretell this guy and keep Saw it coming up, which is kind of cool. something. You can also just draw something that we can play, like an Inga Rune Eyes. Got it. I mean, we're just going to take five here. We either take four or we take five and deal them too. So you just gotta figure out what what the best deal is. That will never be counted.
probably countering that. I mean, like, there's no reason for you to draw two. Plus, it's already a two for one because you had to discard something, so. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, I think. I think we actually play Vega here first. That feels correct. I mean, I'll take I'll take a couple of hits just in order to uh, to draw a card. The best deal is the endless shrimp and red lobster. Is it? Is that the best deal? I don't know. It's hard to say, you know. Oh, that card's pretty good. I don't think I can go to 11 here. I don't think the card is worth it. Or take 11 here, rather, and go to... Go to... You know what? That feels correct. Mm, that was okay. Got it. Discard that one. That... Wait, you're playing two King Harold's Revenges? Oh dear. Plus a Vault Robber? Oh boy. So I have nothing to get back with this, and I really kind of don't want to play it if that's the case. I think I'm contractually obligated to agree with you. Oh, that's pretty good. Thankfully, we've had better things to do on every turn. Play this, play this. So we're not like... I hate being put in the position where I either like play my 4-4. Four, four. I mean, if we don't have anything to do and we just have a 4-4, four, four, we're just going to play the 4-4. Four, four, but that's not really the case here, so... So I'm actually just going to play this as a 2-3 because now there's a point where we can... Master Skull and get this guy back. So... I mean, I'll sacrifice two onboard power when it still puts them at lethal, so. See, there you go. Got the masked vandal out of the hand. We get to eat that, get to get that guy back with the scaldy boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't have a, wait, what? Oh, it's Exile. Ah, well, what can you do? I always forget Masked Vandal is Exile because I'm like, why would it be that? But it is, so that's weird. Mm, I don't really know what I would board in against them. I can see Wings of the Cosmos being decent because they have a bunch of, like, two ones and we have a bunch of two twos, so. Oh my god, Zabrakis, you're amazing. You are wonderful, lady. Thank you for the, thank you for the raid. Good times. Good raiding times. Zabrakis is wonderful, so hopefully you guys are having a good time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. We're doing some Kaldheim traditional draft. Best of three, the good one. How's the stream going? Pretty good now. Yeah, we just started maybe 30 minutes ago. Thank 25 you. minutes ago, so. Oh my god. Zabrakis, you're freaking wonderful. Thank you, buddy. You're amazing. I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a great stream, buddy. Raiden, one of my favorite MK characters. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> oh man this is so wholesome oh man the chonky cat's my favorite does that kind of have a name 
I just call him the heavy breathing cat. Because on the GIF, he's like heavy breathing. How come Twitch emotes can't move yet? It's 2021, right? Like, I feel like they should be, they should be moving. Come on, Twitch, get on it. So next turn, what do we do? Guard, guard, God's Hall Guardian and depart the realm? Like, there's no way Twitch can't make GIF emotes, right? It's gotta be, it's gotta be a thing. Can do life reach for Torkoal, foretell, foretold card you own an X. Oh, well, that's a, that's a feature, not a bug. So, <laughs> that's totally normal, totally normal. Um... So gain two for each foretold, foretold card. That's a really weird way of putting it. Add two mana, spend this mana only to cast foretell cards. I feel like I just put something else in foretell here. Probably no, because we're playing this guy next turn for sure. Yeah, let's just put this guy in the in the bin. Nico does defy mouse overs. He ain't having it. She ain't having it. I believe Nico's a she. Also, Nico's traditionally a. A feminine name. I think we're just gonna play this guy, right? Don't be stupid. Just play the just play the, the effigy, right? I'm trying to like, oh, what if I gain two extra life though? And that's like, yeah, but you've taken two points in the meantime, so what does that get you? What does that get you? Man. They seize those spoils. What do they discard? Jasper Jaspera Sentinel. Who's the, uh... Okay, so next turn we're actually... We're just going to play the four drop here. Next turn we can go uh, foretell depart gain four. I think that seems good. Oh, what up, Zippo four? Oh, uh, jeez. Um, hmm. Do I want do I want the, the kin seeker? What are you? Scarecrow? Human wizard? Big cat? Okay. I think you can go... I'll definitely keep these two, though. Sure. No attacks. This is your every move. Baby, Rune Eyes, they're watching you. Inga Rune Eyes. That's a little call to notes, in case you guys didn't know. So, called on. Covered that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to do this. This is probably strategically worse than just playing the God's Hall Guardian, but we're not here to, we're not here to play optimally. We're here to, here to take advantage of our... So you can just block with one, three, two, one. Okay, no attacks. We're here to play our, our Fortel theme deck. I always feel like Rune Eyes are watching me. This guy is really, really giving me a, one, two, three, four. This is a lot. I don't want to take any of this. Five, six, eight, we take 11? Eh, I guess that's fine. Do we have any, hmm. So we don't have any Fortel cards in the graveyard. I guess we can just bounce something. Yeah, we'll just bounce a token next turn. What are we drawing? Are we drawing another Nico Defies Destiny? Because if we depart, we can't... Eh, I guess it's fine. We don't have to play Guardian. Oh, dear. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, that might change things. So we have seven mana. We can go Nico defies destiny. Get the get the four extra life. Play God's Hall Guardian. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. That seems better. And then during our next upkeep, we can bounce something with Depart the Realm. And then this will trigger on our thing.
on our main phase. Stop before next turn. Stop on my upkeep and my draw step. Because I don't want to get nothing out of here. I mean, we use the mana to, to cast a card in Fortel. It's in Fortel. Main. So we just get this back again next turn. That's pretty good. Um, and we can play Courser here. Do we want to do that? I don't think so. I think we just want to play... Eh. Eh. Can't really attack here. I don't want to play Wings because I don't know if I want to keep up to Part the Realm or Iron Verdict. If they attack with this guy, I want a Verdict. And eh, we can just pass. But if they don't do anything, we want to depart. So it's kind of like... Oh, we can we can bounce this, actually. That's Does that go infinite? Oh, wow. That's actually really sweet. Thank you. We're definitely doing that. Oh, I guess we're not doing that anymore. Franconic Disciple. Thank you for the reset, buddy. 30 months? Good lord. Everything's moving so fast. How many packs do I have? I think I have one now. Yep, alright. So even if we 3-0 this bad boy, um, we're still not gonna... I like opening packs when I have 10. That's my... That's the sweet spot. So even if we 3-0, we're only gonna have like 7. Yeah, this is fine. I accept. I have so much to learn. You and me both. You and me both. Alright. Now we're just hoping for lands. Opening 10 is better than less than 10. I either have to click like 14 times for seven packs, like I have to click to open it, click to reveal the rare, click to click the next pack, or I can just click once and open 10, so. Oh man, this, this could be good. Did they miss a land drop? It's the only way they could foretell something and still only have two lands, right? so. Give me a land. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they did it. They were like, oh, you know what? Okay, we'll give you that. Are this two birds? Oh, man. So the Kin Seeker's even good here? Beautiful. So next time we can foretell this and then play Nico Defies Destiny. That seems good. Well, it's unfortunate. <sighs> what can you do? Oh, you're my little bird. I mean, like, it's unfortunate because it makes both of these worse and it makes this worse. <sighs> Was this on upkeep? No, I probably would have done this during upkeep, right? So... Do you like baseball and any excitement for the upcoming season? I am not a huge fan of any sports, really. But I don't I don't begrudge people who do like sports. That's totally fine with me. Put this there. Got it. I'll take one. Let's draw our other Vega. That'd be great. I'm pretty sure we just bounce our Augury Raven here. That seems good, right? OK, 
cast spells that have foretell. This is a spell that has foretell, right? So we can... Sure. Yeah, that seems good. They're definitely five colors snow, but I mean, like, we don't know if they're... They have spells in all five colors. This could literally just be a red land. Or this could be a green land. They could be team or snow. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? That was bananas. Oh, not only is that great, but we also have like... Nope, use these two. So now not only can we save this guy, but now like Kinseeker is actually scries and gets a counter. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Goodbye, Lajarkins. See her being. For some reason, I really had to spell bananas in my head to make sure that was correct. Oh, pass. Sure. I kind of just want to bounce this guy just because we draw a card and it gives us something else to play. I mean, this is also sick. I mean, they're at less than that. I mean, if they have a way to make us discard another card, I'm just going to keep these both. There's no reason. We're not going to be playing both, I can't imagine. Bananas and pajamas are coming down the stairs. Yep. Fascinating. I'm tempted to Iron Verdict this just to draw the card again. Like, I doubt when they're at six, this guy's going to be attacking into us, so... Um, we'll see what we're going to hit first. Uh, yeah, okay, we're actually going to keep that. It's actually not... Actually, is that great? We gain nothing, we get nothing. Yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, that's that's shippable. I mean, let's put some to three, like. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm totally on board with that. That's so if they have like skull smash. Skull Raid? Is that what it's called? Don't be Skull Raiding me. I loved that show when I was a kid. Then I got older and was like, what the fuck? I feel that way about Ren and Stimpy. I watched a recent clip from Ren and Stimpy and I was like, how is this show, like, produced as a... I don't... I didn't... Under, I was like, how is this produced as a children's show? I don't understand. I think our deck's actually fine. Thank you. I swear last month was 35 as well. Man, this is what this must be the stream of, of 30 month plus subs. Thank you, Spencer. I love you, buddy. Appreciate you, my dude. Times were different then. Yeah, this is fine. Two drop, three drop, four drop, rather. And then if we draw, like, white mana or any... Okay. 
Come on, White Source. Otherwise known as a Plains. Come on, Plains. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I still think Ren and Stimpy is great. That's not what we're looking for. Hmm. Well, we're going to anger Runeyes. Try to find a white. I think I saw it coming. Oh, that's really sad. Disdainful strike. Okay. Guess we gotta find that white naturally. Oh, see, that's annoying. And also why I have Invoke in our main deck. Well, I would have liked to see that. Cards are showing up here. Seems good. Well, that's awkward. Did you know that they're called islands? Because when sailors would discover them, they would say, That is land. I don't know if this is true, by the way, but it sounds like it could be. Yeah, that sounds about right. I feel like uh, there's no way that could be incorrect. They have one snow land right now? Did they draft snow with like one snow land in their deck? This is not ideal, <laughs> but I actually don't think we're going to do it. We're going to keep Saw coming in and depart up. sad. I did forget about that. Like, I mean, I don't know. What are you going to do? It's discouraging, but what can you do? I mean, actually, it's be better to depart this and then counter it. I don't even know, man. I feel like without white mana here, though, like, we're just extremely far behind. You counter this? No? Okay. Bananas and pajamas. They're coming down the stairs. I would love to draw an invoke here. That would be really spicy. Invoke? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Another white source would be great, so we can go Starnheim, Starnheim Courser into Invoke. Yep. It's not really what we want. I think that's actually fine. I mean, we're definitely short on white mana here, but... What can you do? Sure. 
weird attack, but all right. Yep, that guy's good. So this is the game we see all of their special things. Still have two up so they can actually... Yeah, no attacks. <laughs> um, watcher. Courser. I wish we had more removal. I'm almost tempted to double block here. They make it a 4 4. I mean. But then they also get our Courser and our Vega, and they can play both of them. They can go 1, 2, 3. Play Courser or Vega this turn. Oh, boy. We have to do it now. Hmm. So now we're just going to put Rune on the effigy next turn. Uh, why not play Rune to draw? Just because I feel like it's stronger in the late game when I actually put it on a bigger target. Oh god, they put a cat on it. I'm an absolute fucking moron. God damn it. That's annoying. <sighs> that sucks. Really? Yeah, that makes sense. No, we're going to get rid of the rune here. Fucking amazing. Cool. Yep. Let's see how we win this game. Draugr, Necromancer, and Icebind Pillar are pretty good. We don't have a ton of answers for Necromancer outside of like... Outside of like Iron Verdict. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else that's really... Like, that's our, our side where it's not great. We had to pick up a bunch of cards that are decent, but not for our deck. have a feeling we can draw an island. I'm just 
really hopeful, you know? Next time I'm gonna play Vega, if we hit a land, like I just wanna hit island, that's it. Island turns this game into something completely different. Wow, that's, that's the ticket right there. So next time we can play God's Hall Guardian, we can, I mean, this guy's not gonna live, right? Okay, okay. Oh, must be nice. Now, we'll see if this makes a difference. It does not care for my feelings. That is correct. That is correct. They missed the land drop, which is pretty decent for us. I mean, I, I don't feel like there's a reason, a good reason, not to just play Augury Raven here. Also, if they kill either one of these, we can get it back with Nico Defies Destiny. Nico Defies doesn't do anything here, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is nine, nine on board, so. <laughs> Josh, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> Good times. So I can pump once, play Nico, sure. I gain zero. <laughs> So they got a block here or here. That's fine. I mean, we just get Raven back next turn, which is pretty okay.
Is there a 2 0? That seems good. Can we get them packs? We'll see. I don't think this deck is that great, but for some reason it's, I mean, it's got a bunch of flyers, I guess. It's got a bunch of card advantage. Eh, maybe it's not terrible. Okay, this hand is, is pretty decent. I think we go Vega when we can actually play Saw it coming as well, so like five mana, that's a lot. Maybe not. I mean they're gonna put a Surf's Pack Wolf in the in the area. And Pack Wolf. Oh horizon secret. Hmm. I'd actually love to get rid of that. Actually, maybe I should have just played Vega this turn. Take the three, let them play whatever they want, and then start going to town. If we hit a land, I might go Depart the Realm Iron Verdict. This is actually very good. They not only know the mana with the Glittering Frost, but then they can Horizon Seeker as well to land. That's pretty sweet. Okay, that's actually good. Um, I mean, there's no reason not to get another land. You have six more. I think we just have to keep Sot coming up. Priest. So you have two snow lands. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So you're gonna have three with the. You know what? I'm gonna counter that. Because it kills our Vega, and our Vega net right now we have Depart, Iron, and Vega, so. Oh. That's. Okay, sure. We got it. not terrible. Our hand is still good. We can go suspend, suspend, keep up a blue. Bounce. Nah, that's fine. If you want a main phase, behold. Hmm. Keeping two is rough. Not hitting any... A lot of free lands are just picking up.
We're just taking four here. Four is not a huge deal. We're actually not as far behind life and board wise as you'd think. See, I'm probably gonna bounce that just because. Oh, I see. Well, I'm definitely bouncing one of them. actually. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. No giant though, right? This is just a spirit bear? Bear spirit? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm double-blocking Spirit of Aldegard if they attack. On this day in 1924, President Calvin Coolidge delivered the first presidential radio broadcast from the White House. Was that 97 years ago? Also, if they, like, actually have a way to kill both my creatures... Only two died this turn. That's unfortunate. It's still a fine trade. Spirit for Inga? It's all been downhill from there. It's true. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's an instant, right? I mean, there's a lot of cards they're getting. Scry five. Sure. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What can we get back with our... We can get back just the rune right now, but that seems fine. Oh, Dr. Burgle's hit Sixteen cards versus twenty-one cards, sure. Fifteen cards versus twenty-one cards, sure. Is that a third bird? Or is that the I guess that's just the one I bounced? There's a lot of things they're playing. <laughs> Not thrilled about it. Um so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should have actually kept double white up so we could actually put the rune on this guy. And also kept up friggin' verdict. That was pretty bad. I 
I guess this is actually still fine. I have five cards, but we technically have four in our hand. Our board is better. Zimmonypod, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you, bud. Sure, that's fine. Not ideal, mind you. But fine. Okay, so now they're down to three cards. I feel like that's pretty bad. This is insane. Are they just gonna fucking mill themselves? Like, holy crap. Wow, that's really good. So they draw three, they go to 11 cards. I mean, they're probably not going to mill themselves. Jesus. I'm definitely not double blocking here. I'll take six. That's fine. We can put Rune on the Raven Wings. Go to town with this guy. If we draw another spend card here, Fortel card here, that'd be pretty cool. It was a land. So we take 12, 15, but we gain 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I almost feel like it's correct alpha here. 6, 12, 15. So we go to 5. Thank you! Sure, why not? So salty. Thank you. Really appreciate the resub, buddy. 32 months. Coming to the US next week. Oh man, be safe. We are nowhere near as. Uh, responsible with COVID as other countries like Germany for example 10 this is 19 little one five six seven eight nine can we find a way to deal two damage here and get rid of that Unlikely. Even more unlikely. Cool. So we get to go up to six, and then we can go block block. Yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I can't beat the deck. Like, what do they have? Nine cards versus R15? Like, there's six more cards than us? Seems good. Like, none of these cards are... Yeah, we do have a bunch of dumb doorknob lickers around here. It's unbelievable. Cube has not been up for like five days. It was only up for a week. It was the Live the Dream Cube last, it ended last Wednesday. Um, but Vintage Cube starts in about a week and a half, maybe. Oh, good. One land. That's what we're looking for. This is worse. I mean, I'm keeping it because going down to five seems absolutely terrible. Uh, vintage Cube starts, looks like, March 3rd. 
So next Wednesday. That's pretty sweet. Oh man, so salty, I really appreciate that. That's awesome, dude. Thank you for allowing me to be your sole source of MTG content, buddy. Burritos and MTG content. What more can you ask for? Well, planes, I guess. <laughs> this, is a, this is a classic 2-1, guys. This is a, one of your classic 2-1 situations. Yep, seems good. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Well, that's really... That's really incentivizing me to concede. Oh, I mean, the thing is, if we get a white source, we can just play Vega and then bounce something, draw a card, but... It's not even worth it. Like, when you get a point like this where, like, oh, you have six power on board, one of them's a rare, one of them's unblockable, and we have fucking no board position. Like, I'm not gonna... It's not even worth the time. I'll take my 2-1 and get out of here. <laughs> Wonderful Christmas time. Simply. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Unfortunately, we're only at six packs now. Hopefully you guys appreciated the draft. I'm going to do another one. Don't leave if you're watching on Twitch, but if you're watching on YouTube, definitely slam those like and subscribe buttons. And please consider going over to twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore and subscribing. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. It's one of the few ways I support myself as a human being. Uh, it's how I eat meals and keep a roof over my head. And it uh, goes a long way. The, the couple seconds it'll take you to go to Twitch and subscribe goes a long way. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.